Good morning chaps, welcome along to the vlog. Today's uh, main job is to get brewing again. So we've got to clean the kit up and get it ready for recommencing. Uh, yeah, brewing. I was intending on brewing on Wednesday, but unfortunately I've got a funeral procession to attend. So we may be pushing that back to Thursday and today is Tuesday, if that kind of makes any sense. So what I'm intending on doing is firstly, getting the cement mixer out of the corner there, mixing up a batch of mortar, going into the beer garden and finishing off uh, some of the smaller jobs, a bit of pointing on a wall, one or two slabs to be laid, uh, a little bit of filling in, and then once that's complete, which should take us to about lunchtime, we're gonna come in here, uh, we're gonna push everything to the side to expose all the floor, we're gonna clean the tops of all the tanks down, and then we're going to move on to the internals of all the tanks. We're going to run a CIP cycle on a few of them. And uh, yeah, basically get ready for recommencing. If we've got time, we're going to pull out a recipe and get some grain weighed for the first one that we're going to be doing today or this week, which is probably going to be a vacant gesture or proof of concept, something like that. So that is the plan. I'm going to get cracking with it. Like I say, first job is pull this cement mixer out from up here. So we've still got a lot of rubbish that we're waiting to get rid of. Um, we can't until the tip, you know, the dump, for want of a better word, opens back up. So we're having to just live with all this junk. So it shouldn't be too long realistically. Uh, well, they are open, we just can't go in with the van. So it's a bit of a pain. See what I mean? About it being a pain. I'd really do with this. They're completely out of the way. But unfortunately, I kind of don't think that's going to happen in a hurry. Where can I pop this uh, tripod so we can still get a shot? How's that? I'm a traveling spirit seen many shores from the west pacific to the island of kenya they treat me like a son anywhere i go and even though no one can tell i still feel that i'm alone i'm alone i'm alone i'm alone leave me stranded i know how to handle it all So the mix is going to start with, uh, we're going to go for four or five to one. I'm thinking maybe a five to, well, let's do a four to one. So we'll have four of those sand there, filled into a bucket by the way. One of these cement, and then we're going to put a splash of this uh, mortar add mix in there. And then a splash of this Everbuild Integra waterproofer. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want the um, cement to uh, be multi-purpose really. One, we're going to lay all of these coping stones with it. So it needs to stand up as a actual mortar. And then two, we're going to be laying a couple of these slabs like this one here, these little off cuts. And this is at the end of the soak away channel, so we can kind of want it to be a little bit waterproof, hence the integral waterproofer. And then three, using the same mix to just uh, point this wall up a little bit. As you can see, it's tired 
and it needs some attention. I wasn't going to do it straight away, but if we're putting the brew day back until Thursday, then I've got another day to do it today, and it's a rather nice day. And then also I've got to fill this channel in here, lay that slab there, and then a few little bits here, and then maybe as well, just tidy this bit of wall up and rebuild it because, well, it's shagged, effectively. And yeah, because it's such a lovely day, I thought, well, why not come into the beer garden and finish off the building? It's been miserable the past couple of days, but today's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look, the fish are topping already. I might feed them later with a little bit of bread. I've got some knocking around. Right, we've finished, uh, well, that section. Filled in the uh, end for the drain bit there. Uh, we've been around this edge, Stuart's done a bit of pointing. On that wall up there, I filled in this section of cement. Had to rebuild a bit of this wall with the dodgy brick, ran out of brick. Doesn't look great. And then we filled in, or pointed up, the joints on these coping stones. And uh, then I run out of cement, so apart from a good sweep up and the removal of this debris around here, I'm pretty much done in the beer garden for today. It's really difficult to point this up. As you can see, it's, well, there's more voids than there are bricks, to be honest. So it's been not the easiest of jobs. So we're gonna to have to come back to it at some point, but like I say, we're finished there. Bit of patching up there, a bit of patching up there. That's all done, so yeah, I'm gonna go into the brewery now and we're gonna make a start on cleaning up, maybe start in the workshop and then move backwards towards the brewery itself and uh, fill some of the tanks up with caustic and get a CIP running on the insides while I clean the outsides. Right, we've had a bit of a clean up, folks. So, uh, will you come and hold camera, Gem? Uh, we're just moving some of the chemicals to give them a clean. And I noticed that the phosphoric acid was considerably heavier than anything else. So, here we've got an unopened container of Persid 15. And as you can see, it's 30.1 kilograms. I'll pass you that, Gem. Your fingers have a camera, don't you? There we go. So, if I take this off. Put this one on. God, come and have a look at that. So this one, the phosphoric acid, phosphoric acid, 42 kilos in a 25 litre jerry can. So I'm guessing the, uh, the chemicals in this, phosphor, and whatever else is in there, is considerably heavier than uh, that one, which is basically hydrogen and acetic acid, uh, carbon and, I would imagine, oxygen. So it's unbelievable how much, 12 kilograms difference, same side vessel. 42 bloody kilos. Tempted to see what that FOS gel weighs now, Jim. Here, hold this phone. I'll, uh... So the FOS gel, that's phosphoric acid in there as well. Uh, I've taken a little bit out of this one as well. We use this, oh, I can feel it's lighter already. But we use this to clean, still 34 kilos. And you can see the fill line here. So I've, I've had some out of this. So phosphor is considerably more heavy than uh, paracetic acid. There we go. Every day's a school day. 42 kilos in a 25 litre can. Better wash this off my hands now, aren't I? Well, a bit of a wash down has taken place, but we've still not managed to find homes for most of the machinery. I don't know where the canning machine's going to live. I don't know where the cans are going to live. But we got rid of a lot of the scrap and crap over here. Yeah, still, it's just all for weighing in what's in back at Van Tomorrow. Old 
glass washer, old fridge. Um, there's a lot of weight in there as well though, bud. Yeah. Uh, there's like batteries, copper pipe, rear's bike, all crap. Um, yeah, all that in that corner there, apart from him, the wood stack itself is for throwing in the, uh, in the skip. So is that. These boxes, we, we need some racking. Um, I should really try and stack this a little bit better and repurpose this area, to be fair, but as it stands, I don't think that's going to happen. We've got somewhere for the cask lift to go. Some shelves there for some bits to tidy up. Got rid of the dumb waiter. Decided to smash it up. Didn't want it after all. And then, uh, yeah, we need to find storage space for this lot. But tomorrow, it's just a case of cleaning the kitchen area. Um, we've washed out all the bundings. I think they're called bundings, aren't they? And everything for the chemicals. We've got acids there and caustics over there. Pull out the grain, clean the grain store, clean the brewery. And then I think we're ready. And while that's happening, CIP the tanks. Never got round to that today. But yeah, while that's happening, I think uh, we can CIP the tanks while we're doing the final bits in there. Don't know what time we're gonna get here though. We do have a funeral procession, like I say, to go to. Uh, so yeah, I suppose that's gonna wrap it up until tomorrow. So this one's for you, Nick. Cheers, mate.